everyone welcome back to my channel it's me Lachizu with a new video today it's going to be a little bit different because we're going to talk about something that I never thought about before and it wasn't until last week when I started working at this place that really made me think a lot more and I kind of want everyone else to kind of just get the gist of what where I'm coming from and also get you to start thinking about it a little bit more often so uh, <laughs> let's get started so for those of you who don't know I recently started working at the Marriott I work at Fairfield in in Suites Marriott and I am actually the housekeeper there so there were a lot of things that I have learned about in housekeeping and what it means to be a housekeeper that I never thought or considered before I became a housekeeper or before I got the job. It is honestly it there is a lot to learn and there's still a lot to learn about housekeeping and I just wanted to make this short little video on what it's like and what are the five things, the top five major things that I learned about what it's like to be a housekeeper. The first thing I learned about housekeepers is that it is a lot harder than it looks. A lot of people think that all you have to do is just dust, sweep, make the bed, change the sheets, you know, clean the bathroom, all of that, but there's actually a lot into it. It's a lot of physical work and also, um, I don't know if you know this or not, but your supervisors and their assistants are really picky about how the room looks. So if it's not positioned in the right way, if there's like a small little dust on the mirror, they will send you back and fix it. If it looks dirty, they'll send you back and it's just, there's a lot of work put into it and it really doesn't seem like it but there is there is a lot more than to just cleaning a room there's just it's a whole workout really the second thing i learned about housekeepers it is that it is really 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 hard to clean a room when it's really messy in a certain time phrase so what I mean, what I mean by that is that a lot of housekeepers have 30 minutes 30 minutes tops to clean one room and when that room especially if it's a stayover like if you're going to be staying at a hotel room for multiple days if that room is really dirty and has anyone bothered to like help with anything it just really makes it harder to clean in a certain time um stayovers we're supposed to have that room cleaned out within 30 minutes not 30 minutes 15 minutes 15 minutes for stayover and if it's a checkout meaning there's no one in the room everybody's checked out and there is a lot a lot a lot of mess it we had to clean it within 30 minutes and sometimes you need more than 30 minutes to clean that dirty room. But you kinda don't have a choice but to clean it in 30 minutes. And it's so, so hard to do that. There's a time, actually last week, um, a lady had checked out in a suite. So it's kinda like two rooms put together. It's really big and when we walked in she had towels everywhere she had food everywhere she had beer cans everywhere she had bottles of vodka and whiskey and like rum and like just pretty much bottles and cans everywhere and we had to clean up within like 30 minutes it ugh, it was really rough so something that really made me realize is that whenever I go into a hotel or stay at a hotel to always try to make 
the housekeeper's job a little bit easier. No, not knowing that they have a time frame to clean all the rooms to make it as clean as possible before I leave. So that way it's easier for the housekeepers. If I'm checking out, I am going to do whatever I can to put all my dirty towels and sheets or whatever in like one area. So the housekeeper doesn't have to run around and try to clean it in 30 minutes. It's just really insane to me how there are a lot of people who just really don't give it into consideration on to like how messy they leave the room when they check out and how many are like the time that the housekeeper has to clean that room. It's really frustrating. <laughs> it really frustrates me when people just leave a big huge mess and I have less than 30 minutes to clean the room and sometimes it goes over 30 minutes. The third thing I learned about being a housekeeper is that you have to deal with a lot of chemicals. It's chemicals never really bothered me. We have like maybe five, I think we have five bottles of chemicals that we have to use. It's cleaning chemicals. It's not bad, but it's also not good for your hands, especially if you're using them every single day. Um, I, they told me on my first day that they have vinyl gloves if I ever need it. I never thought I did, but as of Sunday, I started using them because my hands started to look really bad. It really started to do some damage on my hands. It really started to dry out. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you can tell. But it feels really rough and for a while like on my thumb it started to feel like part of my skin was peeling like have you ever had like your feet dry out so 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 bad that like if you were to rub it up against your skin or your legs or whatever it like kind of cracks a little bit like you can feel the crack and you, it's just yeah that's how my thumb was starting to feel it was starting to crack a little bit it just dried out my hands so freaking bad and I had only worked for four days last week so this is hard <laughs> just four days of working using harsh chemicals well they're not harsh chemicals they're cleaning chemicals but it did a lot of damage to my hands so I never realized that you know, if you use chemicals so often without protecting your hands, you can do a lot of damage to your hands or to your skin. And that is something new that I had learned. The fourth thing I learned about housekeeping is, and this goes along the lines with like how we have um, a certain time phrase to, you know, get all the rooms cleaned out. Um, and that is when people don't check out on time or when they don't leave when they're supposed to and you're kind of left behind having to wait until they leave um i don't know if all the hotels are like this i know i mean just from my own experience um at the marriott we have a clipboard and on the lines like on that clipboard we have a paper with all of our room assignments and it lets us know what our rooms are, what um, what kind of bed it is, if it's a queen size or a king size bed. It lets us know how many people are staying in and it let, also lets us know when is their check-in day and their checkout time. So, oh, and if it's a checkout or a stayover. And when they check out, it is so 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 frustrating when you're knocking on the door and they're still getting ready or when you go on the room or outside of the door and you see they have a do not disturb sign and you leave come back about an hour or so later on a day that they're supposed to check out 
and the sign is still up. It is so frustrating because on that checkboard, you have a list of 12, 15, sometimes even 17 rooms. And you have to get them all done before, like during a certain time slot. They, on my paper, they always let us know the times on when we should be done with all the rooms. And it's really frustrating when you are going along, you're going up and down the hallways, trying to clean out as many rooms as you can, and you have about half of them of do not disturb signs or people who are just not ready to check out. You have so many rooms that you're able to uh, clean anyways, but it makes it a lot harder when people just don't check out when they're supposed to, or when they just kind of leave the do not disturb sign on the door and they don't take it off. And that's what bothers me the most because there has been a lot of people who leave the do not disturb sign on the doorknob and when they check out, they don't take it back. So I'm kind of left there wondering if that person is ever going to check out when I had just realized that they had checked out two hours beforehand. And it was, it's frustrating because, you know, I have a certain time to get all the rooms done. And I've been going up and down the hallway with my giant carts trying to figure out which room is ready for me to clean. And it's just really frustrating. And so it's really frustrating when you do that. It's really frustrating for the house or for the housekeeper because they're trying to get as many rooms done as they possibly can and it's just not working. So I have learned that if I am ever in a hotel, if I'm not in the room, I'm probably not going to um, use a just do not disturb sign because it is rather confusing also. Um, especially if you don't want any service and I get that but it's just so frustrating when as a housekeeper I'm trying to get as many rooms done but yet I'm not having like there's a lot of do not disturb signs at the door and no explanation as to whether or not they had already checked out or they're still in there and it's happened <laughs> So it's really, really, really frustrating. Okay, the last thing that I learned about as a housekeeper, and this is honestly really, really rough. It's really hard for me, but it's, I gotta say it out here. The pay is not very good. Um, a lot of people think that housekeepers learn a lot of money and that they get paid really well. Not really. To be honest, um, they get paid almost minimum wage, believe it or not, it's almost minimum wage, and um, also they get paid bi-weekly. So for most people, that's not a bad thing, but if you're like me, who really needs the money to pay the bills and to pay the rent and all of that stuff, and knowing that you're not going to get paid for the another three weeks, that really sucks. Um, yeah, I found out last week that their payday was that last Friday. And I hadn't gotten paid for my last job since the Friday before that. So it's been like two, um, two weeks since I had gotten paid at all. And so I asked about typically when is payday. They told me that payday is on the 10th and on the 25th. So I have to wait an entire month basically just to get paid. So I have no source of income other than one way. And it's so frustrating because no one does this. The only way how I can earn money and still be able to pay for my things is by tipping, which no one does at a hotel. It is so, so frustrating because 
I have worked so hard to get the rooms cleaned. I have put my back and sweat into it. I have done whatever I can to make sure that all the rooms are clean. I see a spot on the one of the covers or one of the sheets. I take it off and I put in a new one. I have ran across the hallway up and down with my giant cart just cleaning, trying to get to all these rooms, vacuuming, just everything, getting dirty, you know, or damaging my hands. And in one week, I had earned, well, last week, I earned $5 in tipping. Yeah, that's not even enough to cover for gas. It really, really sucks. It sucks because a lot of people don't think about tipping housekeepers. And honestly, I think you should. I strongly, strongly, strongly encourage you to start tipping your housekeepers. Like, they have seen things that we shouldn't have so we basically know your secrets <laughs> we know it all and we still clean up after you and if you think that i don't know paying what 200 dollars a night what well maybe not a night not 200 well whatever you pay like 100 bucks for a night is enough you're strongly mistaken because there are people like me who are struggling to get their money and to get by with what they have in their um, in their bank accounts and we don't have anything to earn other than tipping if you tip and if you're always telling everybody if you're always like very very strong in particular and tipping 20% of your bill at a restaurant you should also tip your housekeepers they have worked so hard to get your room clean and to make sure that everything is according to your satisfaction i honestly i never thought about tipping housekeepers because i didn't even think it was possible i didn't think that it was necessary but honestly after after my first week as a housekeeper it really made me realize how much of a jerk I was for not tipping housekeepers in the past. And that it's been a huge eye opener to start tipping housekeepers anytime I sit at hotels. I've already strongly encouraged my fiance to start tipping whenever he goes on business tips or business trips just because I know how frustrating it is to clean 12 rooms a day in 30 minutes and not get anything in return and it's just not fair for housekeepers to put that much work and effort and cleaning up after hundreds of other people when they don't get anything in return so please I strongly encourage you to start tipping your housekeepers. If you are so willing to tip 20% of your bill at a restaurant for your waitress, then what's a couple bucks more for your housekeeper who legitimately just made sure that all of everything that you needed is in your room. It's really hard for me to talk about this. I'm just... I really don't want to be this kind of person who seems like I'm so needy and trying to get attention and that you should start tipping me and whatnot. It's not just me. Honestly, if someone is so strong about tipping waitresses and waiters, you should also be tipping your housekeepers because of how hard they work for. Please reconsider and <laughs> tipping your housekeeper the next time you go on or you stay in a hotel. All right, well, that is all I have for today. Um, yeah, it was a little bit different than usual. <laughs> I didn't really do these kinds of videos, but if there's something else that 
you would like me to do, please comment down below. And also, if you are a housekeeper or if there's something else that you learned about housekeeping, please comment down below. Um, I would like to learn more about housekeepers. Definitely will help me. <laughs> and some tips and tricks about housekeeping. Give this video a big thumbs up as I know that you like these kinds of videos and will like me to do some more. Guess I'll see you next time. Peace, love, and hair grease.